first of all you all know that this is a decentral <laughs> excuse me in case it ah, why am i making my yeah in case a transaction goes wrong or a customer agent agent Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olive Mkirote and this is Olive Mkirote Rebranded. In case you're new on this channel, we are currently doing a cryptocurrency series, the part one, which was basically what is blockchain, what is cryptocurrency, characteristics of cryptocurrency. Then we went to part two. It's a bit more in depth for that person who really wants to learn not just the surface level of cryptocurrency but the real deal how cryptocurrency is created history of bitcoin who created bitcoin and all those details around cryptocurrency then we did the third part of cryptocurrency where we talked about the pros and the cons of cryptocurrency the good and the bad and in today's video we are talking about the steps you need to take before buying your first cryptocurrency so before we get into this video i want to just disclaim that i am not a financial advisor i am not a crypto analyst i am just a girl ready to share with you guys information about cryptocurrency so if you really do want to enter into this type of investment it is good to research it is good to dive in yourself and figure out things that probably i haven't figured out yet before you actually put your money on this so disclaimer and i hope you are ready to get into this video so without further ado, let's get into this video. You all are aware that this is a decentralized currency and despite the good as to us being our own banks, it is a bit riskier because in case a transaction goes wrong, there is no headquarters or customer agent you can reach out to if you lose your funds. Never invest money that you're not comfortable losing. Like, don't put all your savings and all the money that you have for survival in cryptocurrency. You can easily lose this money, so please be comfortable to invest money that you can easily reinvest back. I have been hacked before. What about my blockchain slash Bitcoin wallet? So this is what I think happened. On May 30th, I was seated in my backless bank i was making the line and something kept telling me some nudge feeling kept telling me olive you've not checked your bitcoin in some time can you maybe go have a look i checked and you guys the balance was zero and yeah so immediately i contacted support blockchain i told them my story and i was like hi i just logged in on my phone you guys can even see from my previous transactions that i've not accessed my blockchain received or sent any money from november 2018 it is freaking May 2019 and someone just wiped out my account. The bad thing with blockchain, you really can't trace where the money goes. Much, much later. I have lost my funds before and I decided if I'm coming back to invest in cryptocurrency, I have to do it right. After doing my research and see why I was hacked, I see why I got my funds stolen and now I'm coming into cryptocurrency with a new light first things first guys i want you to buy a notebook please buy a nice empty notebook and not just one i would advise for two but people advise for three i need you to get two nice notebooks they don't have to be big you can easily see not a very small a notebook like this if you put it somewhere you forgot it what is the point of this notebook the point of this notebook is to store all your sensitive data all your sensitive information in it your login details your passwords your username your emails that have passwords your wallet i will explain what wallets are in my next video in depth so definitely stay tuned for that but basically a wallet is just like your physical wallet where you put your money but in this case where you put your cryptocurrency and in that wallet guys let me tell you if you lose your private keys if you lose the recovery phrases the backup codes different wallets have different structures as to how they keep your money safe and now those private keys and those structures are the ones you have to keep them safe in your notebook but guys if you lose them you lose your money 
they don't have a way for you to get back your account like that like you have to get back your account with these details so your notebook is to write all those things manually why your notebook and not pictures and not screenshots you can't save your information online if the hackers online trying to get it and that's a mistake i did my recovery traces for my blockchain were in my email stupid if you've saved them as a screenshot and sent it to your email or if you have saved them in your laptop and maybe your laptop has malware let me tell you guys hackers have grown brains and software you can't keep these things online your sensitive information cannot be online it has to be on a notebook and i insist that you have a notebook for all your passwords and i also can throw in a point for on your notebook this notebook can even store for you passwords for your social media platforms can store your information for your bank accounts never use the same email i have said this before listen to what i'm saying one have different email for different uses if you have an email for social media let it be social media an email for your bank account your email for cryptocurrency guys this is your own bank why would you use the email that is everywhere olive did that olive did that my email for social media was the email for cryptocurrency it's the email for you can't use the same email you have to have two notebooks and i insist on two because you can keep maybe one at home or one in your office and even now that's why people insist on a third one you can keep one in a safe space or a locker somewhere or somewhere that even if home and work are compromised you have a third option i don't know burglary or thieves or rain or flooding or fire the inevitable i want us to talk about passwords because i want people to treat this with the most urgency that i didn't do and i feel like it'll set you up for success even in life so your password is like the key to your bank i'll name the mistakes i have done and the mistakes you are probably doing when setting up your password that you should not do as you set up the passwords for your crypto wallets so i don't want us to buy our bitcoins we've opened all these platforms with very poor passwords then our money gets stolen don't use a password that is a name or a verse or a song or a movie guys they are software that have all this data as long as it's a statement in the world it can be found another mistake we are doing is using passwords that are close to us i don't know your name your mother's name your place of birth your location your favorite place to eat guys forget about those things Forget about those things. Three. You know, Olive, I'm going to put my password as Farmer Olive, but you know, the A will be an at, the Olive in E will be a three, the L will be an exclamation mark. Fourth mistake we are doing, we are using password generated apps. Do not use these password generated apps. That means your password is still saved somewhere in a server. I know I'm being paranoid, but guys, if you're planning to use this as your bank, if you're planning to keep money there, why would you? trust a server like <laughs> why we use one password for everything another mistake olive used to do the email password is the same password with the crypto wallet is the same password with instagram why <laughs> why would you do that and you know hackers are happy when they enter maybe one platform then they use that password and then they see it's working for all your platforms they are the happiest people on earth this notebook should be your password notebook it should not be a notebook you carry around all the time it should be a notebook that has its own fail safe somewhere in your home or your work where you've written down social media passwords you've written down cryptocurrency passwords internet banking passwords Every type of password that you don't feel comfortable storing it online, it should be stored there. Never store your password on your browser. I have that mistake of, do you want to save this password? Yes, save. Guys, don't save your password on browsers. I know it is comfortable, it is easy, it is faster, it is efficient but that is how you get vulnerable for security that's why you wonder people are being hacked on social media instagram accounts are being hacked how do you think these things work guys and especially if you grow big or your platforms grow big or you become important that is how they get through to you another thing you have to realize that things like your mom's name or your number or your birthdays are already out in the internet just because maybe facebook and instagram have posted here and there and they can put two and two together so please guys let us not use such 
passwords and finally if you see security questions treat your security question just like your password if they're asking for your favorite movie place don't literally write a movie place like make some random lie long fake answers with random questions and, and exclamation marks it should not be obvious that he, what is your favorite book bible so I hope I've given you enough advice on passwords and tips and security and I hope you really do take all those things into consideration because that is the first step for you in setting up your crypto wallet. So here on the screen I am showing you guys currently all types of wrong passwords. I have given you examples, I have spoken about it for very long. So guys, all these are examples of a wrong password. However, here are examples of good passwords, random exclamation points and capital letters and numbers that is the best random password you can ever make the next thing we ought to do is to secure our laptop and phone or your computer and phone check out for malware do a cleanup on your laptop it could be with malware bytes or something but something that cleans up your laptop and the same goes as well on your phone ensure your social media accounts really don't just portray every information about you and i even want to work on that because i feel like a lot of my information is already out there and can make you be vulnerable for hacking attempts and another thing is enable two-factor authentication for every thing that you value on that phone definitely get either google authenticator or authy Personally, I used to use Google Authenticator, but I now prefer Authy. So download these things and link them to your apps. Please, please, please. If you haven't, you are prone to be attacked. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it so much. And before I go, I want to add you, even before we buy our Bitcoin, anytime you're using links on your computer, ensure that the URL is HTTPS. S S. S. If there's no S, that means it's not a secure site at all. That S needs to be there. Two, if you see random links sent to you on your social media or on your email, do not be that clicker. Even on WhatsApp, so many people send these emails for Suji Free KFC and Suji Free What. Guys, this is how hackers get a hold of you. You're here busy just spinning the wheel to get a new iPhone. Where and how? Who is giving you free iPhones by spinning the wheel? Why are they even giving you this iPhone in the first place? Ask yourself why someone could be randomly sending you spam links. They are opening doors for hackers into your laptop, into your phone, and that's why I am urging you to use encrypted emails, and that's why I'm urging you to save your passwords out of the phone, because they will not see that. Sindio. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this so far. I hope I've given you the sense of urgency of password keeping. Make sure even in your passwords, you have somehow described ways for someone to maybe if it's investment, how they can withdraw, or simple instructions as to maybe how you can log in. Because if there's something I've come to appreciate with this world is the inevitable, plan for the inevitable. And not that I'm saying you'll be hit by a car, but it's the world, it is good to always plan for that. And have it written down in case of an emergency, can they do this? Imagine dying, God forbid, and you have all this money in different places, but people can't access because they just don't know how you had set them up and this is something I've read about and considering we are getting older we are planning to make money we are planning to multiply this money and we're planning to keep this money for our generations and our lives to come it is a good way of actually just planning for the future so even in your notebooks have a page that is like a wheel sort of of who you would like to actually go on with this and we learned this in my centronomy legal class and that lady kept telling us yes you're young Yes, you might not have a lot of money, but it's very good in case of something that you've actually written proof with the date and signed it somewhere that this is my notebook and these are the steps I want to be taken in case this and this happens. It saves you a lot of problems from the future. Anyway, guys, I'm talking too much. Thank you guys so much. Definitely stay tuned for the next video. Watch the videos on the screen if you haven't. Let me know, are you guys enjoying this cryptocurrency series? I need to know. <laughs> Have I lost you? Encouraged you? What state are you in right now? I would really like to know. Thank you guys so much and bye. See you on the next one.